This video is powered by the fastest VPN on the planet, NordVPN. Never miss a second of your favorite show, even when you're abroad. Get NordVPN two year plan plus four months extra by clicking the link below. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. AFTV, we're still here at the stadium. Um, unfortunately, it's been a defeat tonight, uh, losing 2 1. First game we've lost on the tour, actually. But what did you make of the performance? First and foremost, let I want to congratulate on you and the whole AFTV. I've been watching you from 2016. As a Jamaican, I'm very proud of you. Continue doing the good work. Um, tonight was a bad night for us. I, I just think that. Chef Jinchenko is giving us a warm time in the defense. I don't think he's fit for the defense. I, I wanted to see Timber there or California. Yeah. Like, some minutes, let me see what he, he yeah, can do. Yeah, I mean, do. Timber, but by the way, on his tour so far, it's a shame that he didn't get to play tonight. I, I saw that um, the manager said he's wrestling, he don't want to overdo him, you know, he's still come back from that big injury. But the first two games, for me, the best player for Arsenal looked, <laughs> looked unbelievable. So. That bodes well going into the new season. I think Zinchenko's going to have a lot of problems getting into the team because Calafiori's also here as well now. Yeah, and then he's helping stifling um, Martinelli. Martinelli can't get the freedom. You remember when Shaka was here, Martinelli was so explosive. He was the second leading goal scorer for us. So mm. I, I think he's hindering Martinelli from doing what he's supposed to do. So mm. that's one of our problems. We got to fix that. So um, the guy that we're getting in, that we link to, I think he will be a good fit for us. Yeah. I think he will be a good fit for us. And also we need a striker. Go spend that money. I'm, I'm like yard man. Go spend that money. Get Ivan Tony. Get Ivan Tonis, pull the stocks. We need a striker. We need a striker. We can't repeat what we did last season if we don't get a striker. I asked somebody this the other day. Is Ivan Tony, because it costs a lot of money, is he your, would he be your striker for the next three seasons? Is he the man? Because you're going to spend the big money. I'm, I'm not saying it's not, but you know, if you go and spend big money on a striker, he has to be that guy. So if we're not spending the money on Tony, we got to spend it on Osman. Either we got to spend it on one of them. I heard you saying that you're talking to Nigerians, and they say he's. Uh, I want to see him. Let me see him first. Let we, we try and prove and let we see him in the first. Yeah. And if he comes work, in and he flops, then what are you going to tell the Nigerian man and then? They can be fixed. <laughs> Arteta can fix anybody. All right. Arteta will fix anybody, so Arteta will get the job done. Okay. If we see what he do with Kyber, why can't he do with us men? Okay. okay. So that's it. And for, a, so the last thing I want to say to you, I want to big up all the Jamaican fans from the Sports Explosion, like Dennis Gunners, um, Choppy IQ, all those guys, they listen to you. I make sure in tune with them so they know what's going on. And I just want to say, Arsenal, we will. By the grace of God, win this season. You confident as well? Yes or no? Yes or no? Um, I'm confident about the season. Um, in terms of what we need, I think it's a little bit different. I think it's very, it's all good and well saying that we need Osman, but Osman doesn't really, in my opinion, doesn't really fit the style of play for us. Why? Like, it, just as just a link up play. If you look at the way we actually play and what we actually need from a number nine, I think ideally we need someone like Robin Van Persie. Van Persie is that type of striker where someone that can like drop into the number 10 but also score goals. Mm. And Osman yeah. doesn't really do that for us. He's a good striker and if we're going to provide crosses and, and provide the, the framework for him to be able to be actually score, then cool. But I, ideally from what I see and from what all the man them see, like obviously yeah. we're here, yeah. like we don't, I don't see it like we so, so which striker would you want? I'll be real, I'll be real. So I know you've been reporting Gore Chris and I don't I haven't really seen enough from Gore Chris to, to suggest that he's gonna be that, that striker that we need. Um I think we just need more goals all round. So if we're not gonna necessarily buy a striker that's gonna get us over the line in terms of like 25 to 30 goals, someone like Haaland, that's gonna get that level of goals. Not 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 to say that his quality of play is that great. I think we need to have goals all around. So we need more goals from Martinelli this season. Last season was a bit was a bit tricky for him. Um and then we need more goals from midfield as well. So okay. if, we can, if we can do that, that will get us over the line. Now, don't get me wrong, on, a, on the flip side of it, Harlan is the type of striker that will get you over the line and when you're playing terrible, it will get you over that line, you can screw that tap in and get you the goal. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna, we need him to win the league. I think we just need more goals all around. Are you, you, you in agreement with him? No, I hear what you're saying. Like. A striker like a Watkins, I know we won't hey, get him. On the but yeah, yeah, yeah. I am on the Watkins. I've been saying it. I've been yeah, saying yeah, yeah. the Watkins or, or, or Isaac, but I agree what he's saying. You know, like, like Ivan Tony, like the last guy suggested. Ivan Tony, as you said before, 
for three seasons, I don't think three seasons, you know, like maybe like first two, one or two, but to, to, to compete for the uh, the title three seasons, I don't think so. So Watkins or, or, or Isaac, I feel, yeah. What about you? Nah, I'm definitely uh, Isaac, because obviously if you see how Arteta... There's no point in even... Uh, no, no, I know, I know, I know, but obviously the players that Arteta gets is always Prem proven, so yeah. so obviously they played in the Prem, so... So what, that's about, to what about Tony then? Well, to but, as I said, obviously the three seasons, I don't, I, as I, said, I don't see that. I don't see that at all, at all. I might see it as a quick fix for now if you want to win something. Yeah. But long longevity, I, I can't see Tony getting in there. So, yeah. are you saying that you can't see, you know, you, you name Isak, but that's not gettable yeah, right yeah. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one name that's out there that we could get that you think we should maybe then move for. Or you, well, well, or do you, think, been, do you been, think that's person not there? Well, I've been in the agreements with him with the Watkins, but... Because obviously he's he's prem proven, but I can't see Villa letting him go. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Especially his Champions League and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So if you can't get that, what would you do? I, boy, I think we stick have to. Habits. Yeah, yeah. We'll stick, <laughs> that's all we can do, really. <laughs> stick so with habits. You, you just like stick with what we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because uh, obviously we have to spread the goals around. Because I, I, I can't see like, if we don't bring a striker in, then someone has to put a shift in somehow. And I think I think Jesus may have a better season. Because obviously, like he's, he's usually that like, injury prone and stuff like that. We know we're gonna have him out for a little bit of time. But I think if he if he if he stays fit, and then obviously we can rest him now and again and whatever. I think Jesus will have a different season. So yeah, yeah. Sorry, Robert, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So in terms of goal careers, obviously you re you've reported on goal careers. Yeah. What is it that you've seen with goal careers that would suggest to you? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. wondering because I, I you know what see it is, much right? Yeah. I've not seen much of him either. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously he's playing in a Portuguese league. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I've not really. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've not really. I've, apart from the, just the, the highlight stuff that everybody else yeah, has seen, yeah, yeah. but I've not seen him, and that's what worries me. Like yeah, I'm yeah. like. I mean, the goal scoring record is unbelievable. That's a lot yeah. of money yeah. though. But the Portuguese league no disrespect because unbelievable players yeah, yeah, come yeah, out yeah, of Portugal yeah, yeah, yeah. but that league is not the same as the Premier League you know what yeah, I mean exactly. it's a lot more difficult yeah. Yeah. he was a championship player before nobody really moved for him I mean that's I don't know for 86 million that's a lot you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I, but, but having said that you know Isak a lot of people were saying that he weren't clinical yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when he was over at Sociedad, yeah, yeah. Sociedad. and he's coming yeah, yeah. Look at him and he's been absolutely himself. brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I mean, you can't, you can't say, you know, I mean, and yeah, yeah. I remember chatting to like a, a Swedish fan um, who was saying to me that Gorkarez is better for the national team than Isak. Remember, they're both yeah, Swedish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, it's hard for me to say. I'm not seeing enough of him, but yeah. you know, I would love to see a striker come in. I would love to see a striker come yeah, in, yeah. but I've got, I, I agree with everything that you guys are saying. Yeah, yeah. The person I would have loved to have, I've taken over the interview now, but the person who I would have loved to have seen us get, who it doesn't look like we're going to get, is that Nico Williams, because I oh, just yeah, feel yeah, that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel yeah, yeah. that if we weren't going to get a striker, then, you know, a wing player who can score a lot of goals and can yeah. create havoc. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, at the end of the day, Liverpool, their best, the player scores all their goals all every year in, year out, yeah, yeah. Salah. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, not yeah, a striker. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. but let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Good question. Uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to also, because we, we live in Canada, obviously we're from England, but yeah. Stephen, your cousin, yeah. Channel 9, that's our boy. So oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to, I oh, big said to him that yeah, yeah. we wanted to big you up and that. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, bless our though. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Big, big up. Big up. So, you guys from Toronto then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, big up. Yeah, yeah, yeah.